My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I just wanted to wish you guys a uh, happy new year, man. 2021. A lot of us pro uh, probably thought we wouldn't make it past 2020, you know, but we here now. We are still uh, surviving in this uh, cruel, cruel world. Uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to wish you guys a, uh, ha a happy new year to you and y'all family, bro. Right now, I am here chilling at the park. Like I never go to the park ever, but I, I even tell y'all. Well, my Discord and my Twitch crowd know, but my YouTube crowd don't. I freaking lost my car. Like I freaking got in a car accident. Like the hell is she doing? I got in a car accident like maybe three weeks ago. Now it was not my my fault. I don't know if this dude was drunk or high, but he pretty much totaled my car. Had no insurance. Long story short, it sounded like if I want to get in and get anything out of me losing my car um i'm gonna have to get a lawyer and sue this sucker this sucker literally pulled like a real life grand theft auto he freaking hit me hit the uh woman that was next to me took off then caused another accident up uh, uh, <laughs> Like I, I thought that that was something that I only saw like in Grand Theft Auto. This looked like actually pulled that junk like in real life. <laughs> so, and I'm laughing about it now, but I was pissed when this junk first happened. Long story short, I don't have a car now. So, you know, if I wanted to get to places cause I hate relying on people to take me places, I just walk now, you know? So, uh, and, I'm, and I needed to get out the house, you know, I was inside the house. I'm like, man, it's new, it's, it's new year's Eve. Let me go somewhere. So. I'm at the park now, just just uh, chilling with the uh, ducky, chilling with the duckies. As you can see, we got uh, sister cheeks right there. We got father cheeks right there. We got grandpa cheeks right there, and we got a uh, that's a suit. <laughs> well, I'm just here chilling out of the park, getting some breeze. I really do like the view around here too. Got a nice little lake right here. I, I can't show y'all like where I am because I got like weird viewers that will actually like stalk me and try to find like yo yo. <laughs> I got some weird viewers, bro. <laughs> they might actually like try to like pinpoint my exact location, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm just out here chill, uh, chilling, man. Honestly, bro. I guess this could be like a little mini recap of 2020. I honestly didn't. I mean, despite all the stuff that, you know, happened this year with, you know, it, I swear, bro, it, it all started with Kobe's death. It all started in there. After that, nothing was ever the same. But, you know, all the stuff that went down this year, you know, of course, with, you know, the pandemic and stuff like that and, the riots, the protests, I mean, just, just, just I, I literally don't, don't, even, like, I could go down the list, but I, don't, but I just don't feel like it, uh, just, just everything that happened this year, despite all that, I actually feel like I didn't really have too bad of a year this year, you know, I've always, you know, um, well, not all, well, not always, but, um, being, being the fact that I work from home, you know, and even with the whole car accident thing, it's not like, you know, my income is, 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 is affected. I do YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. And I feel like business for me has, you know, uh, been steady. You know, I haven't, you know, with all the millions and people that, you know, lost out on jobs and, you know, look and like looking for jobs and stuff like that, you know, uh, for, uh, fortunately, I didn't have to go through none of that stuff. So, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like uh, 2020 hasn't, you know, I mean, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. But for me personally, it could have been way worse. You know, it does suck, you know, towards like right near the end of 2020. It's like, you know what, sucker, you might have too bad of, of a year. Let me crash your car real quick. <laughs> Just like, bro, please, no, 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 don't do that. But I freaking lost my car like right at the end of uh, 2020. I'm healthy, you know, and, and, that, and that's another thing. Like, I wasn't wearing a seatbelt out of the time, and, you know, it could have been way worse. I, again, I don't know if this guy was drunk or high. 
but the way he he hit me and the one and 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 the lady next to me and then took off and then caused another accident like i could have i could have i could have possibly got like really hurt or dead you know so um i'm healthy you know uh my fam uh, my family's healthy you know um fortunately you know none of us had you know uh you know job uh security issues stuff like that you know so things could be worse <laughs> you know um i do want to say though if you if you do feel like your year has been complete uh shit <laughs> you know know that you are not the only one out there there are millions of millions of people probably bill pro, pro, uh, 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 probably bill billions of people you know that are going through some of the same things that you know you might have gone through this year you know um I just feel like you know i'm not I'm, I'm not really too much of a relig of a religious person i'm like kind of like writing in, oh, look at the little baby duck but yeah i'm not like too much I'm, I'm i'm like right in between like right like right in between it to where like you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know i don't i don't like to disrespect nobody's religion out there like whatever you whatever people feel like they have to have faith in to get through this cruel life do that so, <laughs> like I, i'm i i i i never want to disrespect no one's like no one's religion so, like i'm like right in between like a belief and i don't know <laughs> you know so but yeah man i mean despite like all of, like all of the stuff that a lot of us went through this year and millions of people you know have went through well billions of people have uh, went through and you know a lot of people you know lost their lives uh this year due to the pandemic or you know something else uh you know unfortunately you know uh it always seems like we have to go through like like loss or some tragedy to actually uh you know get brought closer together because i do and and, it's, and i still feel like that but i do feel like <laughs> it honestly seems like as time is going on like yeah we're getting way more advanced and you know tech and like all this different stuff and just all of the things that we have uh you know just avail just avail just available to us at our fingertips but at the same time it does seem like we all are like getting more and more like disconnected from one another but it's weird because at the same time we're all could we're all we're all connected to each, to, to each other via this phone right here like we can reach like whoever but at the same time it seems like people are, are becoming more disconnected more than ever you know so it always seems like we have to like go through like some type of tra some type of tragedy in order for you know people as as one to you know come closer together or at least chill out for a while you know so um but yeah i mean if i, I guess i'm saying like all of that to say that you know if if you were one of the ones that you know survived uh 2020 you know and got through i mean that in itself deserves you know a pat on the back you know for that you know because i'm sure a lot of people out there you know with all this stuff that's been going on and then on top of that you know deal you know dealing with you know mental health uh issues or you know relationships or you know not sure you know what their future is going to be like whatever like the fact that you got through all that and you are still here able to go into next year 2021 you know you a strong brother or you a strong sister I, I i i guess 2020 um for me like what i'm taking from this year mostly more than anything else is to count your blessings you know is with all the stuff that went on this year and as bad as things you know as bad as you think things are they can always be worse <laughs> that's what i'm taking the most from this year you know be grateful for the um things that you do have and you know your health your family you know your job if you feel depressed right now or you know you just you know feel like things aren't working out for you the way you thought it might or you know just a lot of issues going on and you don't know which route to take you know um i know it sounds cle cliche but just keep pushing <laughs> nothing 
is impossible until you decide to stop trying. You know, that moment you stop, you know, trying and pushing for whatever you're trying to get and you just completely give up, that's when whatever you're trying to do or, you know, whatever, you know, a uh, goal you are trying to reach, that's when it completely dies, the second you stop trying, you know, so. Uh, so yeah, man, this is to 2021. May it have mercy on us all.